So this is a video on how to transpose YouTube videos to uh, make them playable for sax, um, your alto, tenor or soprano, baritone, whatever you happen to be playing. So we'll start with alto sax, which is tuned to E flat. You go onto YouTube and you find a backing track that's in G, for example. You've typed in backing track, G major, and you've worked out your G pentatonic, maybe use the previous video that I've just made to give you the notes G, A, B, D, E, and G again at the top. So, G is the YouTube backing track, but you're on alto. Alto, if we take every semitone, meaning we go on C, C sharp, D, D sharp, we're gonna count every semitone, is three steps back. So the backing track is in G, we go to F sharp, F, and E. So we would need to use E major pentatonic. And I'm sure there are plenty of purists that will tell you that it's saxophone, alto sax is tuned up to the sixth and all the rest of it. What I'm giving you here is the quickest way to go about working it out. It doesn't matter if you know all the ins and outs and all the rest of it. So this is the quickest way to work it out. The backing track's in C. We're still on alto sax. So you go back three semitones. One, two, three. We need to play an A. And what it's a good idea to do is to learn all of these. Let's say the back and track's in B flat. We're gonna go one, two, three, and get to G. We need to play in G major if the back and track is in B flat. It's the same for minor. Let's say that it's in F sharp minor. The back and track on YouTube, that is. One, two, three. We're gonna be in D sharp minor. Okay, so irrelevant of major or minor, you still transpose the same way. You've got three whole semitone steps back. Tenor saxophone, or your soprano, is slightly more straightforward. It's just the next note higher, a full tone higher. So let's say the YouTube backing track is in C. For tenor sax, you're gonna go for whole tone. A whole tone is two semitone steps. One, two, so you would be in D major, that's a unusual looking image. Let's say we're in G flat major on tenor. You're gonna go one, two, and you are now in G sharp major. And again, it's the same for minor or major. It doesn't really matter which, way, which key it is. Oh, sorry, whether it's a minor or a major key. So let's say it's in E minor on YouTube, and you're on tenor sax, two steps up. One, two. So you're gonna play your F sharp minor pentatonic. So that's how you get your YouTube videos, you load up the backing tracks, do these steps for tenor or alto, and you should be in the right key to play along.